Over 20 civilians have reportedly been killed in Lugansk in East Ukraine. The local militia stronghold has been under heavy artillery fire in the past 24 hours, with officials there saying almost all areas of the city are being shelled. There are similar scenes, too, in Donetsk. The besieged city came under fresh bombardment overnight, with locals saying the intensity of attacks has increased. The UN Human Rights Agency estimates that around 60 people a day are being killed or wounded. Maria Finoshna met some of the residents of Lugansk. Kiev calls this a large-scale anti-terror operation. While anti-government fighters in the east say they're trying to liberate the region from occupiers. Yet, it's civilians who are paying the highest price. They describe what's happening on the ground and in their backyards as senseless violence. The city of Lugansk, one of the biggest in Ukraine's east, lies in ruins and is almost empty. But the artillery fire never stops. While the shelling of the city continues, not only residential areas are being targeted. Just yesterday, a shell landed right here in the middle of this grave at one of the city's main cemeteries. Dmitry and his family were caught in the sporadic fire when they tried to get water from a wild stream outside the city. And safety is not the only thing missing in Lugansk. All those we spoke to here told us they are in need of practically everything. Humanitarian aid provided by city authorities is not easy to get. This handwritten notice hung on a tree in one of the most shelled districts of Lugansk invites anyone who wants to flee the city to come to a designated place on any given day. Yet those who haven't got out yet don't seem in any rush to pack their bags and escape. But there are those who want to get out, but can't. A couple of hours after we crossed the border back into Russia, we heard that violent clashes had erupted all along the road we drove alone. And those who we just spoke to in Lugansk now find themselves trapped in the encircled city. Mirifnil Shnati in eastern Ukraine. Well, it's been over a week since Lugansk declared a state of humanitarian disaster. The convoy of Russian aid is now on its way to the border with Ukraine. Nearly 300 trucks are carrying tons of products, including baby food, canned meat, sugar, bottled water and electricity generators. The mission is designed to bring relief to the residents of eastern Ukraine who are suffering power, water and food shortages.